What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. I'm back out here on the big lake today. Going to be slip corking brush tops with these live minnows. And guess what? Before I could even get the camera out, guess who done pulled in a nice fish over there? I'm telling you guys, I, I can't take her nowhere without her catching either the biggest fish or the first fish. I threw across the pile my first cast, nothing. She throws out boom y'all already know we got our eight foot acc crappie sticks out here paired with these pc fun reels and guess what guys i think i got a treat for you at the end of this video right yeah. i think we have a treat for you at the end of this video so be sure to stick around and we're gonna see what we can do with these crappie today now today i'm gonna be using the camera on my head okay i want y'all's opinion in the comment section do you prefer the camera the angle on the head or on the chest the only thing I don't like about using that camera on my head is it picks up every single sound that I make. Um, but it is what it is. A lot of people like that head mount angle. But let me know in the comment section which one you prefer. The last video we was out here, I used the uh, chest cam. So let me know what you think. But if you haven't, hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it. YouTube loves when you do that. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, you love crappie fishing and you want to learn more about crappie fishing, the different types of techniques to catch these crappie, this is the channel for you. Smash that subscribe button. Come join the family. You ready? Ready. She already got one in the live well, guys. Let's go. All right, guys. Well, let's see. We can get on some more post-spawn crappie for you guys. Like I said, we... We're gonna have a little surprise at the end of this video for you guys, so I'm not gonna say what it is. You probably guess about what it's gonna be, hopefully. But we're gonna see if we can't get on some of these crappie. Is that a fish? It is a fish. I'm over here messing with the trolling motor. Look at that one. Oh my gosh. You got him? Ah. Hey, that's a solid fish right there. Black crappie too. No, wait. Yeah, that's black. Oh, you got him too? Is is that is that doubles? Yeah. All right, ten and a half on this black crappie right there. Put that one in live. Well, you think so? Yeah, he's I don't think he's as small as you think he is. I think he's ten. You don't think he's ten? I think he may be ten. Yeah. No, just shy. All right, we can put that one back. Well. First two casts on this brush top right here. Uh, what does that fish finder say? 14? Yeah. 14 foot of water. Fishing about, I'm fishing about nine. Nine foot deep right now, guys. Got the live minnows under the slip cork today, baby. And I like to see just how far that brush top goes. But those crappie will come out of that brush top to eat. Caught one right over here to the left. Now I'm going to try over here to the right. See how big that brush top is. Or just the radius on where I can get bit at. Oh. That's him. Is he on there? He is on there. Uh-oh, hey, oh, 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 I think I may see a crappie sandwich in our future. What do you think? Oh, I let him eat it a little too long, babe. But look at that fish, guys. That is a nice crappie. Nice, nice fish. All right, get him in there, baby, let's go. Yeah, guys, let me know what you like, the head mount or the chest mount, or if you want to see a little combination of both. The only thing is when it gets really hot and I have the head mount on, 
I got nothing to protect my face in this 100 degree Texas heat coming up. So that, that's the only thing I'm worried about as far as the head mount goes. But today we got a high of what, 75? 75, guys, it's a bluebird sky as they call it. There is not a cloud in the sky. And usually that means high pressure. And crappie could be a little bit more finicky on biting when that does happen. Hey guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is our third spot we've went to. We have run across a lot of small fish, but we're trying our best to get on some bigger fish for you guys. I gotta find that buoy marker. I just caught a nice fish, but I accidentally drug in the buoy marker as well. So I threw that buoy marker back out there. So I gotta find that brush top again. Shouldn't take me long. And there he is. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, babe. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. That's a good fish. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh we doubling? We doubling right now. How's he feel? Oh, we're double. Are we doubling keepers? Black crappie? Hey guys, look at that fish. I, I think I see a crappie sandwich in the future here. Who knows? We're gonna put this one in the live well. That's a good fish. You wanna measure him? Or what do you think? No, he's too small. Okay. Well, that's a good sign. It's two keepers I've caught from that pile over there. Oh, he hit it. Oh, and it's a good, is that a black? Oh, look at that black crappie. <laughs> hey. For this lake, that's a good black crappie. Look at there guys, I still got that minnow on there too. No measurement needed on him. That's a good fish guys. Probably about 11, 11 and a half or so. What's going on family? Hannah and I are back at the boat ramp. And I tell you what guys, today's trip was very unique. And what I mean by that is, how many spots did we fish? How many brush tops did we fish? Four, Four or five? Mm -hmm. Every single brush top that we went to today, we caught three or four fish off of it, and then they stopped biting. Every single one. Haven't had that happen to me in a long, long time. Now, I did mention in this video that it is a bluebird sky, guy. I mean, there is hardly any clouds, if any. What that bluebird sky means is that a high pressure system has done moved in and the barometric pressure is really high. Now you've probably seen before that on days like this right here, it is hard to catch fish or it can be. And what happens is that high barometric pressure swells the bladder of those crappie pushing on their stomachs and they basically do not feel hungry and they will not eat. And I believe that's what we ran into today. But I mentioned at the beginning of this video that we have a surprise for you guys. And the surprise is we got eight or nine crappie in the live well right now. And we're about to go and make some crappie sandwiches for you guys. Y'all been requesting more catch and cooks. So guess what? That is exactly what you're gonna get in this video. We're gonna make crappie sandwiches for the first time. Give it a taste test and let y'all know how it goes. So I appreciate y'all for sticking around this far. If you have it, smash that like button. This is also a great time to hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. And I told y'all that we're gonna start doing more catch and cooks for you guys. Had a lot of comments in the past couple videos requesting catch and cook. So you ready to see what we can do out of it? I'm ready. All right guys, y'all stay tuned. What's going on family? We're back at the house. Hannah's getting the fish fryer ready. And guess what? We ended with nine crappie. We're about to turn these crappie into sandwiches. And I've said this in my previous catch and cook video, YouTube really doesn't like the whole cleaning process on camera. So what I'm probably gonna do is, I'm gonna fast forward through the cleaning process for you guys. Now, once these are cleaned, we'll be ready to cook. Y'all stay tuned. All right guys, we're at the last crappie right here to clean. So we're almost at that point. Y'all be sure to stick around and stay tuned. All 
All right, guys, the next time you see me, I'll have these crappie fully filleted up and we'll be putting them in the fryer. All right, family, we have the grease popping here. We're going to warm up this grease till about 320 for the french fries, then we'll go up to about 350 for the fish. Now, I have my crappie fillets soaking in 2% milk right here. All right, if you're wondering why I do that, Google it. It is known to bring out those impurities in that fish. Now, crappie's hard to ruin crappie anyway, but I'm telling you, this right here is great for these fish. And also, I use 2% milk as my binder as well. Now, real quick, I'm going to walk y'all through my recipe, okay? There is a more detailed recipe on how much tablespoons, teaspoons, all that good stuff on the channel. But I have my yellow cornmeal right here. This is going to be our batter for the crappie. Now, I have learned since filming that other video, it is best to put just about a splash of flour in the cornmeal. That is going to help that batter bind to that fish more, okay? It's going to give it more of a better batter, all right? Now, this right here is what makes it kick, guys. I'm telling you right now. Lemon pepper. Doesn't matter what, you, what brand it is. Lemon pepper. Put you some lemon pepper in there. Now, remember, you can always add more of anything. So, Tony's Saturies, guys. Tony's. I use Tony's just about on anything. You can ask Hannah. And, of course, we have salt. Just regular old, just salt. Can't go wrong with a little salt. And then, of course, pepper. Sprinkle just a little bit of pepper in there, guys. Nothing crazy. And then what I do is I use a whisk. Go ahead and get all this ingredients really stirred up in here. All right. I'm telling you guys, that flour is a game changer. Now, this is going to be our batter for this fried crappie that we're going to use for the crappie sandwiches. Now, the only thing that we're waiting on right now is for this grease to heat up. So, y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, we got our, hey, great value, regular cut French fried potatoes right here. We're going to go ahead and sink this down. Pretty sure that this oil is ready. Oh, yeah. Let that get going, and we also have a few of these hush puppies right here, Savannah Classics. We use these during the yellow bass catch and cook as well. well I'm going to try not to burn them this time. But um, original hush puppies, these also have little pieces of corn in the hush puppy. I don't even eat corn, but these are awesome right here. Y'all be sure to check these out, Savannah Classics. All right, guys, our french fries. Check these out. Golden Krispies, baby. Golden Krispies. I'm gonna throw these right there. Now, hold on guys, I gotta do it. Now, what I like to do with this Tony's, not only do I put it in my batter, but as soon as those french fries come out, just give it just a little light coating of that Tony's right there. Really makes those french fries pop out. Anyway, hush puppy time. Don't have many of them. These will not take long to cook. So once these are finished, then we'll be ready to start frying this crappie, guys. Check it out, guys. Look at these hush puppies. Mm. Drain some of that grease off of there. So now we have our fries and hush puppies. Now for our main entree. We're gonna get our crappie. It's time to batter our crappie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of, look at that white crappie meat, guys. Been sitting in that milk. Now, like I said, I'm also using milk as the binder. So I'll go ahead and use this as the binder. Put a couple of pieces. You don't want too much milk on those fillets because that's just gonna make the batter clumpy. But go ahead and shake that up. Boom, that flour in there is gonna really make that cornmeal stick to these fillets. So this right here is just, of course, a repeated process. Now guys, you don't have to use 2% milk as your binder. I've seen people use mustard, um, hot sauce. I can't think of that brand that people use, but there are many, 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 many things that you can use for your binder. I prefer 2% milk. It works out really well for me. There's three. And 
and four. Go ahead and do a few more into the binder. And like I said, all that is doing is just so it's wet, so that batter can stick to the fillets. That's all that is for. Six. Let's go ahead and put a few more in there. We're going to do eight. Put that in there. All right, guys, we've got to drop them. Let's see what they look like. Oh, yes. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn that oil up a smidge to around 350 from when we was cooking our hush puppies and french fries at about 320, 325. But 350 on the fish. All right, guys, this is turning out. Looking pretty good. Guess what? These crappie fillets, look at that. Beautiful golden brown. Got a very crisp outside. We need to let these drain for a second. And then, we're going to go here. And guess what, guys? We are ready to make our crappie sandwich. Y'all be ready for this. All right, Hannah. Now, guys, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm a very picky eater, and you'll see that here in one second. But Hannah enjoys most food, so she's going to tell you what she has on her crappie sandwich. All right, guys, we have a brioche bun with a tartar mayonnaise sauce with lettuce, tomato, mild cheddar cheese, and our crappie fillets. All right, all right, now this is it, guys. I'm going to do... My taste test here in one second after Hannah does her. So this is it. That crappie is probably really hot, so just be, be careful. a little careful. Uh-oh. Mm. I hear some crunch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very good. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Can you taste the crappie and everything or just mm -hmm. you got a bold flavor of everything or just what? Mm-hmm. Very good. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, guess what? It's my turn now. Here we go. All right, guys, like I said, I'm very picky. I'm not putting lettuce or tomato on my sandwich, but this is what we have. I have mayonnaise on one side of my brioche bun, and then I have ketchup on the other. Then I'm going to take my crappie, and I'm just going to place it. I'm just going to place it on there. You may have to break up those pieces of fish. No worries. Let's give me, let me get one more little piece, a little crunchy piece right there. And then I am taking my mild cheddar cheese on top. And that's it, baby. Of course, I have the fries and the hush puppies as well, but this is what I've been waiting on right here, guys. Fried crappie sandwich, just like that right there. Let's see. Fresh crappie, guys. This was caught from the lake today, less than a couple hours ago. So I'm ready. Here we go. Mm. Wow. I don't see how you bit into that a while ago. I have the cold lettuce and tomato to balance it out. Well, wow. It's surprisingly good, right? That's pretty good. Really good. I mean, I think I could have more fish on here, actually, but look at that, guys. The white, flaky meat of that crappie. And the cheese is a great compliment. Mayonnaise in the ketchup. Some people may not prefer that. You put what you prefer. Of course, we're going to eat what we would normally eat. So, but you know what, guys? Hold on. Mmm. Man, that crappie just melts in your mouth. That is very, very good. Fried crappie sandwich, guys. This is how we do it right here. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. If you haven't, give me a thumbs up, especially if you like to catch cleaning cooks. Go ahead and drop a comment down in the comment section for me. And if you're already subscribed to the channel already, God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button and you love crappie fishing, this is the channel for you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. 
like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless. Thank you.